I rack my smooth brain long and hard to come up with a great theme idea, and by golly, I think I've done it. Let's just say the theme for Xander Jam 5 is... Time. Hello and welcome to the channel. If you are new here and have an interest in game development or you want to see what Construct 3 can do as a game engine, then look no further. I have several tutorial series on this channel where we make games or game mechanics in Construct 3 and I throw in a few devlogs from time to time, kind of like this one. So make sure to subscribe and hit that big red button if you haven't already. In this video, we'll take a look at my personal favorite games from Xander Jam 5. I originally wanted a nice short list of the top five games, but I couldn't resist adding a couple more and also including an honorable mention or two. I really thought a few of these games were some of the best I've ever seen in a jam. So here are my top seven favorites from Xander Jam 5. Starting with number seven, I have Circuitron, submitted by Xenoparrot. This game finished 16th place overall in the community voting, which took me by surprise because there's some really cool stuff happening here. First, we get treated to cutscenes to open the game, but it's the concept and use of the time theme that drew me into this one. At the press of a key, you can stop all the circuits from falling. Then you use your platforming skills to navigate the ever-changing terrain, trying to reach the goal. Each level presents an increase in difficulty and requires you to figure out a new way to get to the end. Timing is everything. This game was a lot of fun for me and that's why it made my favorites list. My sixth place favorite is Buying Time, submitted by Inmark Games. This one placed seventh overall in the community vote, not a bad finish at all. You play as a robot character trying to defend your spaceship's warp core from swarming enemies. We get a short cutscene intro and a free upgrade to get things started. The gameplay is pretty straightforward, but it's the perks that keep you wanting to play more. You can collect money from slain enemies and spend that hard-earned cash in the upgrade shop after the level timer runs out. There are tons of upgrades to be purchased and most of them seem fairly helpful. One drawback for me is that dying once sends you back to the start without your previously earned upgrades. As good as the game is, my favorite part is reading all the humorous descriptions given for each upgrade. The entire game was obviously given the attention to all the small details. Coming in at 5th place on my list is Beatboxes, submitted by Red Teapot. This one also came in 5th overall in the community vote. The concept seems simple enough, but definitely makes you use your brain to solve puzzles. The idea is to get the blank moving pieces to show the correct shape before getting beat into the final block. If you get 10 correct, you move on to the next level. The creativity of the game idea is what really wins me over here. It's a unique idea that plays really well and ends up being a lot of fun to figure out. The only issue I have is that it's so short. I was wanting many more levels and the increasing difficulty that goes along with it. But what is present in the game works good enough to finish in the top five. Number four on my list of favorites is Time Ninja, submitted by Full Moon Game. Time Ninja finished ninth overall in the community vote, and I think the theme relevance hurt this one's overall score. And I agree, it doesn't necessarily achieve the time theme, but the game itself is absolutely fun to play. We start off with some basic platform elements and quickly learn that we have several skills that you will eventually have to master if you are going to make it to the end. I thought the level design was balanced and the controls were smooth. My favorite part of the game is the teleportation skill that you use to get past some of the obstacles. This game would be a solid entry to any jam. Landing at third place on my favorites list is Clocked Out, submitted by Space Spy and Clone 13. This masterpiece came in at second overall in the community vote, and it's obvious why. Before you even get started playing the game, you will notice how absolutely beautiful the art is here. The audio fits perfectly as well. As for the game, well, it doesn't let down there either. The controls feel polished, and the concept is easy enough to understand, but challenging enough to boost the replay value. 
You traverse the atmospheric dungeon-like levels as a cursed clock and must collect more time throughout each level before the level timer runs out. Did I mention how gorgeous the art is for this one? Seriously though, all elements of the game are executed very well. The only thing holding it back from that top spot for me is the quick increase in difficulty. That last level is, um, well, you'll find out when you play it. Alright, I have two more games from the jam left on my list but I want to quickly call out two honorable mentions that just barely missed my personal favorites list. First up is Time Defense by Fuzel CC. Most of you are probably familiar with his work. If not, check out his YouTube channel linked in the description. The reason I wanted to mention this game is because Fuzel has been working extensively with the 3D feature recently implemented in Construct 3. There's not too much in the form of information out there on how to take full advantage of this feature, but Fuzel has blown it wide open, showing just how well 3D can work in this game engine. As for the game itself, well, it's a little difficult to manage and somewhat confusing to switch between player modes. But like he explains in the game's description, this is an experiment, and it's a damn good one if you ask me. The other honorable mention is Xander Watch by Zedric, and a bunch of numbers and an email domain. This is a top-down stealth shooter with clean-looking art and, in my opinion, some of the most polished feeling controls of the game. You also get a few special skills to use along the way. The time warping effect you see when you die and restart the level is a very nice touch and plays well with the storyline. The reason it just missed out on my favorites list is the difficulty level. While it's not super difficult, you are a one-hit wonder, and once you die, you start over completely. Otherwise, this was a very fun and visually pleasing entry. Cedric made a devlog on this game, and I have that linked in the description as well. Alright, let's get back at it. At second place on my favorites list is Timmy the Timebender, submitted by Rice Noodles. This game finished first overall in the community vote. For me, it was pretty much a tie with my first place choice. But I had to make a decision and Timmy lands in second place on my list. The art is seemingly simple, but it looks so good and it nails the time theme. The smooth animations and effects really drive it home too. It's the time mechanic that wins it for me. The ability to manipulate time for individual objects on screen is just plain brilliant. The controls for the player character as well as the special abilities are perfectly executed. The game gets increasingly more difficult as you advance and even has a final boss stage. I spent so much time trying to figure out how each level works. I didn't even notice that I'd been playing it that long when I finally beat the game. That's impressive work for a short jam game. And here it is, in first place on my own personal favorites list for Xander Jam 5 is Extremely Short Wine Tycoon, submitted by Jet Simon. I cannot say enough about this game. The concept is super straightforward, but the experience is one of the most addicting game jam ideas I've ever played. It's laid out like what you would expect from a strategy tycoon type of game, but each element of the game works flawlessly and the balance of everything in the game makes you feel like you're playing a commercial release. I'm not kidding. I give this game such high praise because it deserves it. I've played through this game several times just in the last few days. In the end, it was a simple factor of how much fun am I having playing this game. For me, this one was off the chart. So there it is. If you haven't played any of these games yet, there's a link to the submissions page in the description. You can also play my entry to the jam, which placed third overall in the community vote. I highly encourage you give these a play. They're all very fun wastes of time. Also, let me know down in the comments what you thought about these games. If you have a different opinion, let me know which ones were at the top of your favorites list. Be sure to check out the links to other creators. Some of them make devlogs about their entries. A big thank you goes out to Xander Wood himself for hosting this jam. I had an absolutely great time making my game and playing everyone else's games. Can't wait for the next one. 
And if you don't know who Xander Wood is, be sure to check out his channel linked in the description. That's going to do it for this video. Be sure you hit that thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching, and I am going to leave you with a full playthrough of another fantastic entry to the jam. This one was submitted by Mighty Jor. It's called Time Waster 3000, and this is my playthrough. Enjoy the rest of the video. I'll see you in the next one. Oh,